So, I'm going to regurgitate some information again. I've consolidated it um, because the question came up again. Um, so, here we go. Um, this is level of importance that's added on as we get further into a relationship. I, I, I am MGTOW, so I'm coming to a relationship with a MGTOW mindset. And if you're in MGTOW and you, you still want to be married and have kids and all that stuff, even though you're self, self-contained and don't really need to be one, but you, you know, you want to have that next generation of kids, and you want that legacy and that healthy light, uh, relationship, you know, for the benefit of your children, you know, this is the list. I've con- uh, consolidated it into this. When you first see a woman, the first thing, at least when I look at a woman, first meet a woman, see a woman, uh, in either in a store, wherever I'm going, I look at how fit she is. How is she in shape? She's slender. Um, I look at her skin, see if it's a uh, healthy, healthy skin, because the skin tells if a person takes care of themselves, you know, with the type of foods they eat and stuff like that. Um, so I look at fit. Obviously, physical beauty, you know, but that's subjective, so I'm not, not going to get into that. Everybody, for the most part, unless you're blind, um, and even blind people have a way to see if you're fit. Look at Ray Charles and all of them. Um, you look for fit, look at a person who's fit. All right, you approach the woman, you start communicating. Now you're trying to see if she's feminine. Um, you, so you approach her, she's smiling, she's inviting and that's not, not in the, the retarded kind of way where she's inviting and you think well she wants to have sex with you that's retarded so but she's an inviting she has an inviting personality she's friendly she's she you know she doesn't put you down for, act as though she's bothered that you actually spoke to her she's actually grateful or you know okay within herself that you spoke to her um a lot of women especially in the black community they're very hard to be to approach. You know, when you approach them, they have a masculine energy about them. It's like they're ready to, they're, they're always mentally and emotionally prepared for war. Is the vi- is what what I get from from is the language, the body language gives off. Um, I see that less in other races when you, when I approach them. Um, so you look for femininity. Um, it's like me talking to another man, even if I engage another man in a store, and uh, we he recognizes me somewhere or I recognize him some from, from somewhere and we have a conversation, you know, we have a friendly e- exchange, but our energy is masculine, so his is masculine, my is masculine, so we don't really attract each other that way. Um, right? So it's the same thing when you uh, approach a woman and she has masculine energy in a conversation, even though she's pleasant. But not, you know, we sense that masculine energy, so there's nothing there, you know. So you, you know, the woman, the woman has to have some feminine. It has to be feminine. Um, then she remains fit. She's feminine. We start dating. We're in a relationship. She's, you know, living with me. Now all these things are already there. But this is this is the level of importance where they take prominence or should be taken notice of before moving on to the next step. She's submissive. We're living together. Um, say I'm busy doing something, and as I, I I tell her to go ahead and handle this situation. She goes off and handle that situation with our best interests at heart, with no combatives like why are you telling me to do this? Are you you know my boss? You know my father? All that crap. You know, she goes off and she handles that business with no issues. Or you're busy doing stuff, you know, in your role as a man, and she notices something going on uh, that you need you need to address. But she's more than capable of addressing it herself. She has the time to do it and the focus to do it, and she goes and does it does it on her own for the benefit of you and her. That's a submissive wife. It's not me telling her, hey, do this, do that, clean that. You know, get on your knees and, and, you know, and go to work in front of me. You know, it's not that. You know, it's about, you know, catching the slack. Um, it, it, it's about 
working. It's, it's, it's a corporation. It's, it's not a partnership. It's, a, it's cooperating. Because I'm still in, the man is still in lead, the lead. All right. She just happened to jump on that situation and addressed it and moved on without looking for praise or, or validation for it. It just had to be done. Because men don't look for, real men don't look for validation for the things they do. They do what they need to do, it's done, life goes on. Um, women can do the same without the need for validation. So, now that you're seeing that she's so submissive, that's the type of woman you want to marry. So you go ahead and get married, you have the house, you have the kids, you know, the white picket fence. Now, she's still staying fit, she's still feminine, she's sub still submissive. The next thing that jumps to the forefront that has always been there that carries more weight and importance um, along that's now let equal to fit feminine submissive is nurturing. Because now she's making sure the nutrition that I am taking in is, is going to be healthy so I can continue doing what I need to do as a man to protect and provide for the family. So the kids are getting nurtured as far as uh, getting good nutrition. Um, getting taken to school, uh, education, uh, things like that. Because you have to keep in mind, a thousand years ago, or even five, six hundred years ago, a lot of the boys will go with a the, with the man and go work in the field or whatever job he was doing at a young age. Or the whole family go work in that field together. Um, you know, and the woman usually stays home and takes care of the home, make sure the food's there, everything is clean and prepped so when everybody come home, they could eat, uh, be rested and get ready for the next day. Nowadays, men can't take their kids to school to work on a regular basis. I can because, you know, I coach boxing, so I put them in the boxing program. Um, but most people can't do that. So she's she's nurturing in that she's making sure the family is well cared for and has is uh, for especially the next generation of kids the, who can then grow up and go out in the world and become better than the parents at least that's my goals if i you know how i raise the kids that i raise professionally all right so that that jumps to the forefront this other one is more of a bonus this is for out there, not for really inside the family itself. Because um, everything starts at home, the family, and then it extends, you know, especially if you're a man working, you're, you're a MGTOW man out there in, in working in the business class world. You know, sometimes you might be busy on a project or something and there's an event, like maybe a dinner or a gala or something, and you're probably working and or you, you're there with your wife, right? And you out there making business deals, making connections, networking and stuff like that. And, you know, she needs to have a level of class and elegance and be able to um, yeah, execute that effortlessly, right? Um, and this, this comes from practice privately. You know, you practice on a, on a regular being elegant. Uh, elegant and classy um, and the reason I threw that one in there because um, I know most men you know kind of fall in a business type environment our, even my average men um, you get to and even, even the ones that's below average you know they they, they have um, things that happen uh, even family gatherings parties whatever it is these, you know, your wife is an extension of you, and if she's ghetto as all hell, you know, that's a representation of you, you know, as far, you know, as far as a man is concerned. So, if you're a woman out there and you don't have class or elegance, you need to work on that. Uh, there's nothing more unattractive, at least to me, and maybe some of these guys on here could uh, put in the comment section if they agree with this, a woman that, uh, that's not that's beautiful me she could be a straight 10 in, in appearance we, uh, we will tolerate that because she's fine um, but has zero class has almost no class whatsoever that stuff is a is a real turn off uh, it's a real turn off um, because it influences the other aspects of that I just mentioned being fit feminine submissive nurturing 
it has some influences into that. Um, I saw a woman on actually YouTube viewed by hundreds of thousands of people gorgeous I would say she's about an eight possibly a nine you know she's a african-american woman kind of light-skinned green eyes very very pretty very pretty um, but I mean yeah I would say nine <laughs> I mean ten maybe on a sliding scale but nine eight between eight and nine just to be conservative um she was somewhat fit you know she wasn't fat um she had a feminine voice but not feminine energy <laughs> um she talked about being submissive being being cooperative and all that stuff but the energy she was giving off had a masculine energy so men can can interact and uh, be cooperative with each other someone take charge someone follows but we both have masculine energy we get the job done but there's no connection there beyond getting the task done at hand all right so when the job's done we don't want to stay we go on that's the kind of vibe she was giving off as far as the submissive stuff um nurturing i couldn't really tell uh, she does have a uh, she is a single mother so she has a, a child but that you know that never came up so it's not really something I could uh, comment on but the class and elegance thing man she she cursed like a sailor that and that's a, that's a, especially on you know on a platform where you're viewed by hundreds of thousands of people and that's the best you can put out of yourself I wouldn't want a woman like that represent being my wife representing me no matter how fine she is because she's missing two two things and one on the border she wasn't feminine given her feminine energy um, she it, and as far as submission and as a woman and the fifth one she had no class or elegance you know so those are five things I found two she had two of the things um, well one thing that was mm, actually none uh, really because it all had the f she, when she lost the feminine energy didn't have the feminine energy a lot of the other things kind of fell apart as far as she may exhibit some of those things but it wasn't attractive to me and it certainly wasn't attractive to the men that was in the comment section down below as well so um, those are the those are the five things uh, fellas you're in MGTOW so you really have to have the MGTOW mentality you know go your own way right you gotta be meaning you gotta be self-contained you don't need you don't need a woman to be happy um, you don't obviously as a man you don't really need a woman to do anything except ha procreate um, because you know you can fix things you can uh, you have other men in a network like the police department fire department uh, construction uh, HVAC all this stuff a lot of men in, in that field that you can network with to, to live a comfortable life um, and if you you you, you you're, you're you're strong in the all all eight healths you you know celibacy practice practicing celibacy or living a celibate life voluntarily is can is easier and if it is easy for you you would find that you're significantly more self-reliant and happy than you know without a woman than with one um, but if you you're serious about being in a relationship like most of you are um, there are a few scattered in between in between that don't really give a damn about a relationship anymore uh, That's fine, too But those of you who are still interested in a relationship starting a family and giving it a second go Go at it with a MGTOW way with a MGTOW mindset and Look at those core things again fit feminine submissive nurturing and <laughs> class and uh, class and elegance is a fifth one and they all are there present in a woman from the beginning 
and uh, the level of importance uh, is, is 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 risen as you get deeper and deeper into the relationship like subscribe share the video if you think it's going to be helpful to someone hit the no notification bell because i hear it does something uh with uh, youtube and hopefully this helps i will be visiting this again more on a spiritual level uh once i get to that part of my research you all have a good day